The provincial house is the central house of the province. We house many sisters who different ministries within this locality. We have currently living in the house now um, 30 sisters, and they range in age from 52 to 96. About half of them are still in active ministry in different places, whether it's in our preschool or teaching at a local school or doing religious education. Even if a sister would be bedridden, she understands she's still on mission. Uh, these nuns have done so much for the Church of the United States, for the diocese. They've done so much for each one of us that have had a Catholic education or been in a Catholic hospital or been touched by their lives. These ladies are the greatest. If you spent time with them, got to know them, listened to their history, they're all amazing. Now they're old and uh, many of them cannot work. They have health issues, like all of us growing old, health issues that demand all kind of resources. They still have so much to give, and that's, the, that's in the heart of every sister. How can I give? How can I give? And the sorrow comes when the way that a, a sister can give is really sometimes reduced to prayer and suffering, and that's hard. But yet many of us do that, day in, day out. While people are very good to them and the fund we take up every year, the collection, there's still those extra needs that are not covered by those funds. We have to have enough funds to, to care for our 52-year-old sister. We, we have enough funds now to care for our 96-year-old, but everybody in between needs to be cared for, and so does the youngest member. SOAR has helped us so much in terms of helping the sisters keep in place and maintain the healthiest, uh, most active lifestyle that's possible for them given their physical and mental conditions. SOAR is simply that group, a support our age and religious, that recognizes the justice of supporting these nuns who work for so little and gave so much all their lives. An organization like SOAR enables us to continue to put our funds into retirement while still providing for the needs of our sisters that are more immediate and practical because it funds practical things like electric door openers, like walkers and wheelchairs and automatic lift chairs. The installment of this wonderful push on the push control on the wall has allowed us to go all places in the house it's allowed us so much freedom now. Well, it, it takes care of everything because it will raise it up so that it's easy to stand up. Mm -hmm. And then I can use it to, to get my legs up. This is a tremendous, I call it my Cadillac, because it's worth that much to me. all those things that we might take for granted. For people here that need them, they really make their life better. It's helped them to realize that even though they have some disability or some immobility issue, they can still get around and they can still maintain their meaningful relationship to the mission. All of us came to serve, you know, and just because our bodies slow down, our minds slow down, it doesn't mean that desire to serve is any less. Sometimes it even grows. So whatever we can do to make it possible for these wonderful women to continue to minister to people is worth every penny of it. We're not here to create a nice retirement home for ourselves. We're here to care for our sisters who have served for years, the people of God. But we're also here because we are still on mission. And for those of you who have been supporting SOAR over the years, God bless you and thank you. You know how important it is, keep it up. Those of you perhaps who did not understand the needs, look into your heart, pray over it, and see if God is not calling you to make some kind of donation uh, to SOAR and to these religious who have been so good to us for so many years. God bless you. <laughs>